There it goes. It's the hardest working button in show business, that is. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Keeping this in. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, so what's yours, Ed? <laughs> A little off message there. <laughs> on, on the show, I would say probably the uh, Lamborghini flat plane V8 was just awesome. It sounds amazing. A really fantastic engine. But I think if we're going to talk about ever, probably the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine that you're using the Spitfire with the supercharger, just the sound of that, it just, every time I'm getting goosebumps at the back of my neck, it's just an amazing thing. And they have been put in cars, Jaleno's actually got one that's actually using the tank engine version of that, and it's just about, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger's favourite car of his collection, it's quite mad. So they make stupid but amazing cars, you know, like with a, with a Rolls-Royce model in there, it's amazing, definitely. So I quite like the early simplicity of engines that are versatile, so the Ford Crossflow, brilliant engine, uh, the uh, Coventry Climax was destined first of all to be a fire pump, it was used to pump water, and later on became a, a race winning engine for Lotus. Um, but an engine that I really, really love is the Lotus Twin Cam, because the bottom half is a cross-flow engine, and the top half has that Lotus head. Um, they're really, really um, vulnerable, and you've got to really look after them, but they only put them in really cool cars. Um, and for that reason, I think the Lotus Twin Cam's excellent. 